Alright guys, welcome back. So this time we're gonna we're gonna convert this into the lace. Okay. Uh, so if you go there and uh, sorry, go to the two and go for the adaptive skin, you can actually preview the geometry you can get from it. Uh, make sure you have the density all the way down to one and then make adaptive skin. Okay. Now it will create a new two. Uh, you can go to sub two and append that new two into the sub two. Okay, now we have uh, the model here. You can keep the original disappear and maybe hide it. Okay, now it's a actual geometry and you can start manipulating manipulating it now. So if you control D to subdivide it, it can get a little bit smooth, but still the edge is having a really sharp turn between these spheres or polygroups here. Now the reason for that is because obviously there are a lot of poly loops across uh, you know every segment. So I don't want that. To delay those loops in the middle, I can go for the geometry edge loop and then delete loops. The default setting will delete all the loops uh, that is not contributing to the shape. Okay. Now I have a much lighter geometry. Okay. And if I control D and I'll get very smooth results. Okay. So this can be my list now. Uh, before I do that, I can also try to have a ending here. Uh, so I can control shift and I'll click that. Okay. Uh, I can use the edge polish to flatten that out. Okay. Somehow it's not bigger enough. I mean drag it <laughs> to make it bigger doesn't have to be, to be precise and then be BZM to go to the modeler and then insert a edge loop maybe here and one more here oh. edge loop okay all right and then I can BZM again use Q mesh uh, Q mesh the poly loop in that way I can uh, extrude in a little bit and then again insert edge loop uh, uh, to tighten that up uh, here maybe there and also here oh uh, here okay and then for this middle part i'm gonna insert two edge loops and then q mesh things out and then go use the delete to delete that loop and the other loop that way i will have a like a a, a, pump, a bumping out part in the middle okay now i have the ending for uh, this guy i can do the same uh, trick on the other side so do the same thing oh, here again first of all uh, the tip is not flattened i can use each polish to flatten it okay and then it's not big enough so i'm gonna just gonna <laughs> drag it around to make it bigger stretch it make it bigger okay doesn't have to be precise uh, oh, and then insert uh, some edge loop okay make sure I'm having the uh, correct size so maybe over there will be the same size oh, okay and then another another edge loop here okay Q mesh it in all right, let me insert two more edge loop uh, here and then Q match things out and then delete uh, the loop here. All right, cool. Oh, I also need to insert some oh, edge loop at the end just to make a really sharp metal similar there and that should be everything i have to do okay and notice that the geometry is actually pretty low so you can actually use this geometry you don't have to retopologize it at all okay so that's the laces all right i do have to fix some of the things here uh, they're not a very big deal anyways but i can course try to fix it by you know drag that around really uh, easy to fix 
maybe just this little part here that needs some fixing and I should be good to go so now I have every part for the list now okay so I think we can stop this tutorial now and in the next tutorial we're gonna go, we're gonna go start doing some detailing on the show okay so see you guys next time